Hey everybody, hi, hello, welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming Channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and talk about fried chicken and add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog. That's what we try to do every time and uh, you know what? I'm glad you're here with us today. I have the privilege of showing off a brand new game. This is out today. You can find this game out on Steam. This is Novi Cube. And what I would say about this game enables chance for gold tiles to grant extra XP. Let's do that. What I would say about this game is that this is a roguelite breakout type game. And I'm going to I'm going to issue a trigger warning. I don't think I'm great at this game, okay? Um, but I will say too though that the game is extremely addictive and I have a good time with it. So you decide if you want to keep watching. I think it's fun. I don't think I'm great at the game. Uh but basically what we have here is uh, we're, we're, we're trying to get rid of the cubes before they get to this point, because if they do, then we lose. And we've got different upgrades that are going to happen along the way. Uh, and then you've also got meta progression and you've got different characters, different uh, shooters that you can open up along the way. We're currently playing as one that's called uh, Dr. Hex. I like that name. Let's go damage plus one. So our uh, our balls, which sounds odd to say uh, out loud, our balls are going to slam into these and uh, damage them, and we're going to stop them. Oh, boy. All right. Is the goat going to nail this? We don't know. We don't know. We'd like to. Yes. All right. Perfect. And then you get to kind of a, a boss cube, if you will. Uh so let's see how we can do here. Yeah, the, the bosses I've found are pretty tough, but if you can get some bounces like this, see, now we're going to do okay here, in theory. All right, so that was good. Uh, damage plus one enables explosive tiles. I do like the explosive tiles. I've had that before. Uh, then we got another level up. Projectile size plus four. I don't know. The projectiles are pretty big. Uh, let's do plus one again to the projectiles. And I think what I'm going to try to do is bounce them off each other right here. I think the last time I played a breakout style game was probably back in, oh, God, probably high school. Uh, 24 percent chance for explosive tiles. Let's do that. There was an explosive tile right there, that uh, that red guy. I would argue that helped us out. Yeah, I I would play on the uh, on the graphing calculator. You know, we had a game called uh, Drug Wars, and there was a game called Oh, God, what was it? Hey, this could work out well for us. Come on, buddy. Is, is this a coffee moment? I didn't think we were going to have one of these. Cheers to you. I mean, if you can get a sip in, you do. Now, we can hit F and fast forward this, and it kind of moves things along. Um, all right. Ooh, this is, uh, this is not looking great over here. We're going to have to do something about this, which I don't, I don't know that there's an angle. Could bounce it off of here and then here and then here because, because math. Uh, okay. Hey, um, stranger things, right? Let's shoot for the explosive ones. Plus 22% chance for explosive tiles or an additional projectile. I think we're going to do that. Okay, wonderful. Uh, hmm, got this to worry about. Problem is it's going to angle back. So we've got to maybe bounce off of this. Yes. Okay, that, that worked out. Plus one range for explosives. Let's do that. All right, we still have this to deal with. Oh, bugger. All right, let's try this. 
Okay, that was that was terrible, I'd argue. <laughs> oh. Okay, but we got we got an upgrade token. Alright, so let's see here. Can we do anything? We've got one token. These all cost three. One rerolls per level up. Let's do that. I'm gonna stick with Dr. Hex for one more run. And let's see if we can have maybe a slightly better run. So I talked about playing Drug Wars, which was just a simple text-based RPG. You know, think Zork, but you're selling drugs. Uh, projectile size minus four. You know what? I want to go smaller projectiles this time so that we can get up in those uh, tighter corners. I, I think this is going to work well for us. We're going to find out. And then there was another game like uh, Galaga. It's, the name is just escaping me at, at the moment, but we had some good games. I, I play Breakout every once in a while. Let's see if we can nail all three of these. Perfect. Okay, let's get some bounces too. Enables explosive tiles. I think that went well for us, but this would actually be great too. Let's do that. Okay. All right, I'm gonna hit F, fast forward that a little bit. Let's get some bounce action. Wonderful. Uh, I applaud the developer here for this hot bounce action that we're seeing here. Many years ago, I took a Python programming class and do we want extra, let's go, let's go smaller projectile size again. Um, Oof, okay. Maybe we should have went damage. Come on, buddy. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, let's go additional projectiles. Shotgun shots. That sounds interesting. I don't know what that means. So anyway, I took a programming course, and uh, it was focused on... Oh, that's neat. That was not so neat. On making games. And so we made uh, a, a bunch of different games. The final project, though, was Pong. And I just remember having to think about the coordinate plane, so X and Y coordinates. And, oh, you were dealing with momentum of the ball and adding momentum to the ball every time it struck a wall or an object. I know, I know those. Oh, wow, we got lucky there. Uh, plus one projectiles per shotgun shot or damage plus three. I think we're going to go damage plus three. And anyway, you know, and I, I knew this was going to happen with the, the math. I knew the math was just going to go above my head at some point. And, uh, and it did. And uh, Pong just, well, it, it kicked my ass, if I'm being honest. Okay, award time. Lord of Death, kill 500 enemies. You were awarded two upgrade tokens. Nice. Okay. Uh, well, somehow, we managed to survive that one. So if we can go over here and get a bounce. Come on, bounce. Moves player death laser units further to the bottom. Oh, now that would be interesting. Let's do that. Okay, keep bouncing, buddy. Keep bouncing. Keep doing your thing. Did we just have a coffee moment pop up? We did. Cheers to you again. That, it looks like this one is stuck in infinity. Uh... All right, I am thinking that we could go for a bounce and maybe do something. This is going to be really hard, though. Makes me think of the 710 split and bowling. Have you ever hit one of those? All right, let's just go for it. Let's see what happens. Wow. Okay, you're, you're witnessing miracles here. Get nine degrees more angle for shot direction. That sounds good. Because we were, we were kind of limited here. All right. This is cool. And that is going to bounce out. Uh, hmm. Well, we could go up here and hit this one and hope that something happens from that angle. Oh! Rats. 
Okay. Well, I think we've got to do this this time. It's kind of a... Oh, that worked out. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. I take that back. Uh, let's go this route. We will hope for some miracles. We've got sitting there. I think we're going to need some explosive projectiles. Oh, wonderful. Okay, everything's coming to bases so far. Uh, let's go that way. If you're wondering, no, I'm not a great pool player either, but I have a good time playing it. I thought it was funny. Oh, no. So, you know, I thought that should have been death when that... Oh, it's these. So the black cubes are okay, but the numbered are, are not. Okay, so we've got to, like, figure out here. I think... Uh, maybe if we shot it over there, right? You would think? And then, yeah, in my head it works out. All right, we're, we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, look at it! It's a miracle! Okay, we need to get these stuck up in here and bouncing everywhere. Come on, oh. All right, all right, all right. Bounce, bounce. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make sure this works out for us. Wonderful. I think we're gonna get it. All right, I am I am enjoying this quite a bit. In case you're jumping around in the video, this is Novi Cube. This is out today. Take a look at it. It's uh it's out on Steam. I'll include the link in the description. Plus one range for explosives. Ah, uh, you know. Yeah, why not? Let's let's get a little bit more explodey, why don't we? Uh, let's pop them up there and hope that we get some bounce action. Okay, not not exactly what I was thinking. Um, let's maybe hmm, thinking how can we get up there? Now this is going to disappear, and then maybe some balls are going to happen that way. You like it when the balls happen, right? Okay, that was that was beautiful. Plus 12 damage for explosives. Wow. Uh, let's do that. That went really well. Uh, okay, so we're seeing some 14s and some 10s out there. I'm not nervous, you're nervous. Don't be a nervous purvis. It's funny because uh, the dev mentions some disgust with, with math and geometric shapes and having to figure out, wow, figure out the area of said shapes and how, you know, this is our opportunity to get back at those those dirty, evil shapes. And I'm, I feel good about it. I do. It's uh, it, it does come with some catharsis. You know, I think about uh, my high school trigonometry work and oh that damn unit circle does that give anybody nightmares do you feel chills right now when i say the word unit circle how about cosine how about tangent does that do it for you um i know it does for me you know i feel like this ball at some point if we wait long enough it's going to strike the three okay i guess not uh we lost we lost but we got two upgrade tokens Man, I want to stick with Dr. Hex. We have we have five tokens. Um, I want to put these into Dr. Hex. I, I have to. We've got to go plus two damage. Uh, let's go back in with Dr. Hex. Let's do one more run. Okay. Uh, there was a guy in my... What was it called? I, I guess it was high school calculus you know and there was this guy that everybody called Waldo um, the dude looked like Waldo legit he, he looked like Waldo and uh, he even started wearing a red beanie like I really liked this guy you know he was he was uh, cool with the nickname and you know he, he kind of just went with it this guy for extra credit, 
wrote a song and brought it in. Now, I, this was in the compact disc era, okay? Uh, he burned it to a CD and brought it in. We were forced to listen to said song, and this was a song that helped people memorize the unit circle. And it was just him saying, like, sign, sign, cosine, sign. And look, all these years later, this is like etched into the halls of my memory. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. All right, we need we need a good bounce here. We, we're like aiming for right here, and my lizard brain says, do the thing over here. So we're gonna. Hey, there we go. There we go. Um, same thing. We're, we're needing a bounce over here. So we're gonna go right here and hope for the best. That was great. Okay. Um, now, maybe if we angle it this way, boom, right? Okay, let's let's try for it. Maybe? Okay, not at all. Not even close. Um, well, back to the drum. This is going to be a little bit of a problem here. Okay, well, at least we've got that cleared. Let's go four projectiles. I mean, hard to say no to that. All right, looks like we're going to get out of this one alive. And these additional projectiles are going to help with this boss quite a bit. So let's uh, try and get him stuck, maybe? Perfect! Uh, enables explosive tiles or projectile size minus three. I like the smaller projectiles, but I do like the explosives too. So we'll do that. Uh, I don't care about our additional reload. Let's see if we can get something special. Plus 23% chance for explosive tiles. Let's do that. Okay, wonderful. I'm already seeing them out there. So let's do this. Maybe there we go. Oh, no. Okay, that's all right. Uh, we'll angle that a little bit. Perfect. Uh, all right. Hey, that was that was pretty good. We got an explosive tile. I, this is a good angle for our shot, I think. So let's kind of come up here with it. Okay. Get three unit of movement range. Oh, that's cool. So we'll be able to move where we're shooting from. Um, yeah. That's that's hard to say no to. Boy, this this clear really worked for us that time. Um, oh, man. Okay, so let's shoot off of this and let them bounce over to there. At least that's what my brain... Oh, no. Oh, saved by the extra projectile. <laughs> There's a really nice randomness to this that just works out for you sometimes, um, especially in those grim moments. You know, when it when it just kind of all comes together, it's it's really satisfying. All right, so we're gonna kind of waste a shot here. I think, yeah, I kind of figured, but they they forced our hand a little bit. Oh, okay. I'm going to show off the different uh, shooters. Okay, some of these you have to open by, you know, playing the game and uh, doing different achievements along the way. But we've got Friend Man as an option. You can build the projectiles. You can lower the death laser as a form of meta progression. This is the starting uh, shooter, QB. Got some nice things in terms of some additional XP along the way. So some good options, right? Hey, this might be one that you want to check out. I want to give a special thanks to the developer for reaching out to me and offering up the opportunity to play the game and cover it. And uh, I hope you, the viewer, enjoyed seeing this one and let us know in the comments if this is one you're gonna you know jump into mess around with give it a go everybody have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you next time on the goat force gaming channel where we will play a roguelike or a roguelite because that's what we do every damn time we'll see you later